guys this is Jeff here with uh, peace sports in Georgia um, we just got these two bikes in and I just want to make a quick video um, these are our, our current 2022 bras recon bikes they have just a hair different uh, changes but overall generally the same bike you've got this very reliable we found Zongshen uh, counterbalanced 229 cc engine it is a five speed makes about 15 horsepower as it comes 65 to 70 miles an hour out of the box um, so it's definitely not a fast bike it's definitely not a powerhouse if you think of these more like a, a scooter um, like a, more like a scooter a commuter the off-road tr trail bike or farm bike that's what these are kind of built for we did increase uh, one change from the previous year we do have a 21 and an 18 rear tire um, a lot of people were asking for that so we decided to add that to this and it, uh, obviously it's going to help out some off-road performance uh, it, not to mention looks it, I think it looks better too um, colors are the same you got your army green um, or you got your desert tan in pictures probably the green looks better in person probably the tan looks better at least that's my opinion but uh, forks have not changed the inverted gold ones that you see on many bikes in this class um, it's got a front disc with a, a stainless line up front um, it does have a stainless line in the back as well as you can see right here um, that has not changed from the previous year all right we got that same quiet exhaust that everybody's talking about and everybody likes the seat is the same memory foam um, very comfortable you can't take a passenger uh, if you need to see dash wise I don't have uh, any a battery in one of these but this is your speedo and your tack they are digital and and your odometer and then your gas gauge and your gear indicator on the other side um, one thing we did remove on this this one is uh, this is now a kill switch right here it used to be the hazard light it's still a starter but now these buttons are a kill switch instead of a hazard light so the hazard blinking feature is no more on the 2022s also as you see these keys right here are just come with two keys and your little thinger um, that's because there is no alarm or remote start on the 2022s okay uh, we figured it would be one cheaper for you because it's a part you never have to replace but two also uh, just one more electronic thing in the in the wire harness to let you down so for reliability purposes we got rid of it um, I, we, we realized this couple states had some troubles with inspections uh, because it didn't have a factory kill switch uh, specifically Hawaii I'm thinking of right now but uh, now they should be good if anyone's in Hawaii who wants to get one uh, also obviously it is a, a nice safety feature to have should you knock over your bike and you just need to knock it off real quick um, but it is uh, a steel swing arm it is not it is not aluminum so it's good for the for this class of bike it's nice uh, the the skid plate carries over you have roughly when it's upright with the bigger tires you have now have a 35 inch seat height 12 inches of ground clearance from the bottom of the back of the skid plate but uh, otherwise man it's just a clean looking motorcycle nothing too fancy about it obviously uh, there's everybody's doing you do the bars you can get a nice LED headlight, uh, plenty of cup holders, phone holders, um, any kind of luggage rack you can put in the back over. Uh, we here don't sell any of those uh, accessories per se. The only thing we do have is some chains and some bars uh, should you want one of those. All right, the obvious difference is the tire size. That is a 21, that is a 19. Um, so you can tell just by looking at it, it does look quite a bit bigger. The rears, I mean it's only a 17-18, however, uh, from the back should be just a hair wider on the bigger one. Um, let's see, 
This is a 110 118. And that is the current size tire. So I'm just showing you this one for comparison. Uh, the thing you can't see is under the seat. That's where the alarm is. It, the alarm's underneath there. This one still has it. If you come across an older Braz, uh, you'll get something like this on there, and that means your bike's got that alarm, and this one does not. Um, tanks, the nice uh, flat aluminum uh, gas tank is on them, just like before. Same size gas tank. Uh, all this stuff we sell on our website, and if we don't, you can get it on Amazon. Uh, just nice little upgrades um, that I have on my bike. But uh, this is it right here. Two identical bikes, 2020, 2022. Very similar. However, a couple very nice changes that make the 2022 Braz Recon uh, for under $2,500, including shipping, very hard to beat in the motorcycle market right now. Not to mention gas prices going up and these things are great on fuel. So uh, I'm gonna do one thing real quick. I'm gonna sit on them so you can see I'm five foot 10 and you'll see how tall I am. Um, I would say five nine, five ten is probably uh, the shorter, shortest range of comfortably riding these bikes. Flat footed on the older one, 17. 1917 tire. I'm tippy toeing now. I can definitely still ride it at 510, but um, I am tippy toeing it when, when I'm sitting still. So I would say 59, 510 is still kind of the the limit to how uh, tall you have to be to ride one of these companies. So, obviously once you're up here, like this, very comfortable riding position. This is Jeff, signing out. Peace Sports. We got the new recons in. It's May. You know you want to ride. And this price, this the value for what you get on this bike is, is extremely tough to beat. So check it out, watch some more videos, get some reviews of people who own them. Obviously my opinion is a little bit biased, but uh, yeah, here they are. Call me if you have any questions.